Ho, ho, ho! No, okay. Whoa, I got the decisive pumpkin. This thing is awesome. The great number of combos landed, the more damage is dealt, leading to a strong finishing move. That is what I'm talking about. That is, that is the best right there. Probably going to be using that. Too bad I didn't even use orange sword. Interesting. Like. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Yeah, this all makes sense. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. This makes complete sense. That puppet just walks around like, hey, let me steal some presents because it has to do with love. And I need a heart. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift to wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. You've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. Uh, okay. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, somebody's getting it on tonight. Oh, well, they're just dancing. All right, it's cool. It's all right. Turn on the lights. Maybe it's fine. I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. Whoa! That's what made it so hard to decide. Goofy's a pervert. It's in your heart. My heart. You bet. Diamonds are exciting. How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? What if I actually ripped out my heart and gave it to her? I think she'd like that. Or at least a piece of, like, the inside of it. I just need the shell. She can have whatever's inside. The hell? Why is he <laughs> dreaming about, like, nine-year-old Sora, or Kyrie over here? Nine-year-old Kyrie with... <laughs> I don't know how many years it's been, like, 15? I guess he's 15 now? Not 15 years, like, he's 15, because it was, like, a year from Kingdom Hearts 1 to 2, I think. Something like that. So he's, like, 15, 16 now, thinking about 9-year-old Kyrie from back then. I guess because he doesn't remember how she looks like. Or, no, she remembers... He remembers what she looks like back then, but doesn't know what she looks like now. Is what I'm trying to say. So... Wow! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh my God! It well, that big thing is not the castle. You must look away now. Close your eyes. That big thing is not the castle. It's actually something else that you don't want to see. Wait, you're seeing two twice? It's another what? huge energy reading, and it's coming from some place near the town. Okay. I don't know what's going on, fellas, but it sure looks like there's some big trouble brewing around Twilight Town. Big trouble brewing around. Let's go check it out. I guess we could do the Pride Lands and stuff, but I just want to 
check out what the hell is going on. There's two Twilight Towns. There's not a Twilight Town. What am I doing? Okay, that's that. <clears throat> this is Hall Bastion. Twilight, I have to... What the fuck is going on? Why is it like all fuzzy and stuff? Well, this isn't Twilight Town over here. This is the world that never was. We're all at a battle level 50. So we can go there now if you wanted to. I think. I'm not sure. Why is the reflection something else and then up here is... Oh, wait. Nope. Got it. Down below is the city. Up there is the castle stuff. Anyway, I'm not doing that now. I'm going... We're not even leveled for anything right now. Anything big. I need to level up some more. So what I'm going to do is go to the Pride Lands. I think we got Pride Lands and then we got the Tron level for the second time again. And then, uh, and we'll finish up the game. Go to the last world. Which will be fun. This went a lot faster than Kingdom Hearts 1. Considering that took like eight months because of like a four month hiatus. So four months in general. This took about the same. Oh, it's you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. Don't give me any of that higher stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh, say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba. <laughs> Simba. <laughs> That's enough. Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one wishy washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Oh, good. Yeah, we'll find out what's going on with that guy. I'm pretty sure this level has like a annoying boss as well. Everything is annoying. Ah. The hell are you do? It's not Scar. It's like huh? it's a fake Scar. We better Ghost tell Scar. Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there. He's actually not. He's he's behind you. He's behind you. All right, don't look. Fine. Cool. Look, 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 look. He's, he's right there. Oh, that's not him. All right, sorry. It was confusing. He's like, you know, they look the same. He's got the same skin. Almost. Said so that was a girl. This is a girl. Have you come to see Simba? We saw Scar's ghost. An omen like that could only be foretelling the end of our pride. Yet King Simba won't do a thing. I guess just being the son of the great King Mufasa doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to rule the kingdom himself. Trust me, Simba will think of something. The time of thinking is past, we need him to take action. And his father would have done, he ruled, uh... He what? He ruled with courage and pride. I remember it like it was yesterday, the mighty Mufasa. Simba will do all that. You'll see. I'm not sure. Right here, I want to talk to Simba. Okay, we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation. Do I get like a little, uh, do I get some, some savage going on? No. King's Den. Let's go talk to Simba and see what's up with him, because look a little low on the dumps. You came you. back. Yeah, no shit. You look like crap. You don't look so good. Hey Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that scar ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it, so... Now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. It's okay. 
I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See? There you go. Exactly! Yep, yep, yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today. And find your own path. Live for today. And find my own path. Not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. Mm -hmm. Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> 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 Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. That was sure hilarious. Sorry I learned the running tackle. Oh, what is that gonna do? What is that gonna do when I'm like a two foot lion the size of my fist and like five pounds? I don't think that's gonna do anything. That ain't gonna do shit to anything. To anybody, especially not the gigantic, or the gigantic boss that we're gonna fight. The gigantic boss. You know what I haven't had in a while? Arizona. I haven't had Arizona in like. Do I even go up here? Oh, God. What the hell are these things doing in here? So whoa. Okay, fucking jump off. I guess we can't jump off, so we're safe. <laughs> 